With me is the Foreign Minister of Andorra. This is her first visit to India, ma'am. Welcome to Vion. My first question to you is: uh, How do you see your relationship, uh, the relationship between Andorra and India? So hello. That's true. That it's the first time that uh, I visit uh, your your country, and uh, Andorra and India established uh, the uh, diplomatic relations in 1994. So uh, that's a long time that we have been working uh, together between the the two countries. And uh, uh, the first uh, visit of uh, official visit here in uh, India, I'm sure that will be the possibility to reinforce uh, that uh, bilateral uh, cooperation. Mm -hmm. Ma'am, what's your focus during your India visit? This is the first. Visit by any Andorran foreign minister uh, since you promulgated the constitution. So, what's the key focus and areas you're going to touch when it comes to meeting with the leadership here? Well, the uh, the will is to uh, to um, promote this uh, bilateral cooperation. We have to uh, work uh, further on the economic point of view, the fiscal point of view, cultural point of view. Uh, with the Minister of uh, Foreign Affairs, uh, we're going to sign a declaration of uh, good cooperation between uh, the two ministries of Foreign Affairs that uh, will permit us also to to work uh, together in a more uh, dynamic way uh, between the the two administrations. administrations mm -hmm. ma'am it looks like that in asia you have focused on two countries that's india and uae why so Well, there are the circumstances concerning the uh, the Emirates. Uh, there was the Expo of Dubai this year, and Andorra had a pavilion in uh, in the Expo. So that was a, a very good opportunity also for for our country to be part of the this international event, and uh, that permits also to uh, to have some meetings, high level meetings uh, with the uh, the authorities in uh, the Emirates, and try also to develop that uh, bilateral uh, cooperation. Mm -hmm. Uh, Ma'am, when it comes to the United Nations, uh, the Security Council or the General Assembly, you have become a member of uh, the Council. What's your view about uh, uh, the United Nations, India's role at the United Nations, and perhaps a reformed United Nations uh, Security Council? Well, for a small country as uh, is the case of Andorra, the multilateralism is a top priority. We think that uh, it's impossible to to bring out solutions be without the multilateralism and the cooperation between uh, the the states. So that's why uh, our our you know priority at the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and in the government of Andorra is to to cope with uh, the United Nations and other uh, international organizations concerning the role of India, the United Nations. I may say that is an, a very active uh, uh, country, of course, a uh, member of uh, this year of the uh, Security Council. Uh, that uh, I'm sure that uh, brings also uh, ideas and, uh, and new ways of, of working in order to help uh, the uh, the uh, House of the United Nations to go further in these uh, and their objectives. Mm -hmm. Uh, Ma'am, uh, Andorra has missions uh, in Europe. Uh, outside of Europe, it's in New York as uh, only. Do you plan to open your mission in Asia? And will India be the first country when it comes to opening of any Andorran mission in Asia? Well, for the for the time being, we we need to uh, to work with the missions that uh, are open uh, mainly in in Europe. Uh, uh, we have to think and we have to analyze the possibility to open other embassies. But for the time being, it's not uh, it's not the the, the case uh, of having uh, decided opening any any embassy. So that's why we try, you know, to uh, to be present here by uh, official visits and to have uh, you know the contact direct contact with uh, the Euro the uh, authority so that's the first step maybe in the in the future it will be possible for us to open other embassies but you know the uh, the andoran administration is uh, is a very small one when we think about opening new um, new embassies we need to to uh, to bring some people to those uh, embassies so uh, so that's why we have to and we need to go step by step in this uh, in these uh, procedures mm -hmm. Uh, Ma'am, Andorra is a micro-state, and Europe has seen a lot of volatility in terms of the Russian invasion of Ukraine. What's your view about this invasion? 
Well, uh, in, uh, in Andorra, of course, uh, we, we cannot accept the violation from one state to another of the, uh, the international law. So that is the, the point of, uh, of uh, going uh, on, on, that, on that situation. And Andorra has uh, adopted uh, some sanctions against uh, Russia following the, uh, the position of the, uh, the European Union. Andorra also has uh, welcomed some refugees from Ukraine that uh, permit to them to to give uh, some uh, uh, health and social uh, uh, social affairs uh, conditioned good conditions for for them uh, and give them the opportunity also to integrate as well as possible in our country mm -hmm. but it the the war which is happening in Europe must have impacted you domestically in terms of price rise in terms of inflation what have you been doing in terms of uh, you know, making sure that the impact on the common person in your country is somewhere thwarted of course the uh, the world has uh, some uh, impact as uh, in the other states of europe the inflation is one of the uh, consequences of the uh, of the war uh, uh, and we uh, as a government of andorra decided to adopt a, a special law uh, to give the opportunity to the people of andorra to uh, have uh, more uh, facilities uh, in order to face uh, this uh, um, situation of uh, raising of the of the prices uh, for example we uh, we uh, permit uh, the increase of the the less uh, the, the wages that they were uh, the lowest uh, wages we also uh, had a policy a new policy in order to permit uh, the public transportation to be uh, free of, of charge and uh, well there are some uh, uh, help uh, financial help in order to to help the uh, the, the people with the less wages to to face uh, this uh, critical uh, situation I, I believe at the United Nations General Assembly as well Andorra has supported the the resolution against uh, uh, Russia Yes, that's that's correct. We have uh, supported this uh, resolution uh, on March. Well, at the beginning of the, the war, we, we supported that uh, resolution. As I told you, uh, in our constitution, the uh, the respect of the the uh, the international law is uh, one of the uh, of the principal points uh, that we need to to uh, to take uh, into consideration. Mm -hmm. And has Andorra supported any uh, UN resolution when it comes to uh, India? Uh, presenting at the at the uh, high table at the Gen general assembly well we uh, of course we try to support uh, i don't know how uh, now i do not have in mind uh, the uh, decisions or resolutions that india has presented but uh, but of course uh, we have a very good cooperation with uh, the mission of india the united nations and uh, we we try to to follow up and to uh, to cooperate as as far as we can with uh, with india mm -hmm. uh, you also listed uh, the fact that the tensions between US and China has been a worrisome factor for your country. Can you elaborate on that? Well, the, uh, we, we are living now in a, in a situation where the international order is, is changing. And, and of course, uh, there are some, uh, you know, uh, situation uh, between uh, big uh, countries and, and from Andorra, we are observers of, of that and, uh, and in our position, uh, of course, uh, what, uh, what we promote and we always have promoted is the dialogue uh, between uh, the different countries uh, in order to, to face uh, complicated situations and, and specifically in order to achieve uh, a good uh, solution for all the, uh, the countries and especially for the population of those countries. We always have to think about uh, the civil society and, and that's why uh, the, the resolution uh, by, uh, by a di dialogue and political uh, solution is the best way to, to go. Mm. Um, my last question to you is, uh, um, microstates, how do they face the current geopolitical changes? Because it looks very difficult given that the countries, major countries like China, who have been very aggressive. So how do you, what message perhaps will you give to the microstate suggestion that how to survive, you survived since Middle Ages. So what is that, that mantra perhaps, if you can talk about? Well, uh, what we, we can say is that we need to observe uh, in a very uh, 
precise way how the, the world is going. That's why the, uh, the fact that Andorra is part of international organization, that's uh, its clue, and its clue also to defend the, the principle of the international organizations, the multilateralism, that is uh, for us, micro state, uh, uh, an incredible, incredible, incredible uh, tool that uh, permits uh, to, to see how the evolution of the situation is going on. Well, thank you so much, ma'am, for speaking to Vion. So uh, that was the Andorran Foreign Minister speaking exclusive to, to Vion on a number of issues, whether it is uh, uh, the Russian invasion of Ukraine or whether it is dealing uh, with the current inflationary pressures. With video journalist Ajit Sidhansibal for Vion at the Sushma Suraj Foreign Service Institute in Delhi.